Hello everybody, True Horror here, and uh, today we're playing a new game. Uh, this just recently uh, came to my attention, uh, but the game we're playing is Darkwood. I played this game on my last channel. Uh, I won't leave a link to it because it was terrible, but on my last channel I played this game when it was in Alpha 3, and uh, it's in Alpha 7 I think now, probably, I don't know, I don't update my games very often, so... It's in Alpha 7, I think. Uh, it's probably in another Alpha by now, but I'm playing Alpha 7. It's been updated so much, so uh, that's why I wanted to play it, because I uh, played this game basically when it first came out. I loved the idea. I loved the concept. Loved everything about it. I was like, yeah, this game's great. And it was. It's great. And I just wanted to see what they changed. And I thought I'd give it a shot. I was like, oh, you know, Alpha 7, that's a lot of updates. Let's see what they got going on here. And uh, so we're going to play the game. And I got a new computer so I can finally run this game. Difficulty? Oh, they have difficulty now. Forgiving mode. When dying, you drop a part of your equipment. In unforgiving mode, you have a limited number of lives. After that, it's game over. The ultimate thrill. Death is permanent. Skip prologue. No, we won't skip prologue just in case something changed. I'll play on normal because this game is very hard. We're playing an alpha version of a very challenging and unforgiving game. Due to the nature of alpha versions, it may be unbalanced or and unfair. It may experience bugs ranging from minor annoyances to crashes and save game corruption. If you prefer smoother learning curve and playing experience, please wait for the final version. Hey, yeah, guys, by the way, I'm getting three frames. Two frames. For some reason, I just dropped, like, a whole bunch of frames. All is fear, hatred in their eyes. This is new, I think. I don't recall seeing this. Well, I haven't played this game in, like, maybe a year. As if I was one responsible for spreading plague. Oh, that's what it is. I was always wondering what was happening in this game. I don't think this was, uh, here before. As if I was the source of all plagues in this land. I don't think this was a part of the Alpha 3, like, I don't remember this. This is new, a little bit of backstory. But I don't have anything to hide, nowhere to run, the woods have devoured all the exits. It might have been a part of the uh, original. I'll go search up Alpha 3 after this and find out. It's been a year, man, I missed it. And I'm stuck with them. I'm gonna read a bit of the dialogue. I'm getting 40 frames. This game is not very... Oh, that's way too loud, my friends. Audio. Who is going right down? Well, not down by that much, but... Down by that much. Wow, like, all of a sudden, like, it was really loud. Now it's not. Let's put it, like, around here, I guess. Yeah, that's good. I remember this game... Notepad. I remember this. Now, some of you guys may know this game. It runs good now. Like my tools, that's new. I don't remember that. Uh, a lot of this stuff's new. Cage, cages. I'd rather not open it. Spend too much time to walk in there. Wardrobe. Yeah, everything so far is pretty the same. That's not the same. Crafting, same button. He doesn't want to go in there. Alright. 40 frames is running. That's neat. I remember this. A dog, I didn't think it was gonna make it. I should end its suffering. I probably should. I don't know how to, though. Why is it? The dog sounds are really loud in this game. The sounds of them dying and getting hurt and stuff. They're like, it's extremely loud. Well, actually.
actually will end that dog suffering right now. That's just the way it has to go, man. I can't really feel empathetic uh, for the dog because I'd probably do the same. the run button location found I remember this game like I'm just basically taking a trip down memory lane right now well it wasn't that long ago it's yeah it's, it's really not like I'm just running in a random direction I'm just hoping I'll find my way yeah it's not the way we got a map though. Great. Yeah, I remember this game. Uh, I played it maybe about one to two years ago. I'll go check my video when I uploaded it. I uploaded it like as soon as I started playing. It's really laggy. I might leave uh, the description to it, but they're not good and they're quite old. So, uh. Torch. Yeah, let's make a torch. Why not? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, definitely. I don't remember this. This is weirder than I remember. Way weirder than I remember. I'm watching you, Bolowski. Okay, this is fucking creepy now. So yeah, it's a good game. I actually really like this game. His art style is very unique. Uh, I, uh, the, you know, tip of the hat to the creators, I guess. They made a pretty bomb diggity game. Uh, basically, I'm saying it's a good game. And I like it a lot. And I think uh, I'd recommend it even. And I don't usually do that. I'd recommend this game. Because it's, uh, I had a lot of playtime in it. There's an exit out of this woods. This must be the key to it. Value. Has a lot of value. Let's see if they got new cutscenes. He's unconscious. Never seen him before. Probably somebody he shouldn't. I remember this. All he has with him is his key and a journal. So I'm... Uh, he got into the woods somehow. He must know how to get out of it. Let's put it like that. Of course, he won't willingly tell me anything, so I'm gonna torture the fuck out of him. But he, but this, however, may change his mind. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. The basically, this is new, very new. Need to get out of this wretched forest. Yeah. This is an entirely different cutscene. You hear me, you rat? Wow. This is. Show me and I will let you go. Tip of the hats to you creators for adding on to the prologue. Sometimes I can hear her voice. I don't want to like suck up. She's calling me. Okay. Calling me to return home. I don't want to like suck up to the creators, but this game is that good. Where's the exit? I ain't saying nothing. Where? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Show me where. No, go ahead. Oh, I knew it. Oh, man, he went for the second one. You're getting pissed off, man? I ain't telling you shit. Wow, he had to do the unnecessary hit. I will kill you like a dog if I have to. He just knocked me the fuck out. God, okay. Had a slight glitch in the uh in the video, but it probably just cut out a little bit of footage because my DX story screwed up. I remember this. 
this and then we make a lock pick. I'm watching you now. Then we make a lock pick and then we make a bandage. And then we take the bandage and we take it out and we like, apply it. Oh, they had they had blood on your arm now. Before it didn't. That's nice. I remember how to get out from the alpha, previous alphas. So, you might have thought we were going to play as the doctor. You don't. You play as this guy. Which, uh, for anyone who's seen my previous channel would know that. Or seen the game in general. This game is considered scary, I guess. Just, um, I used to think this game was extremely scary. I'd, like, not want to record it because I found it so scary, but, uh, that was about maybe one to two years ago. I think it was that long. I don't know, whenever Alpha 3 was kicking around. I'll go search it up and see when Alpha 3 was kicking around. Table leg, which, uh, I can use it as a weapon. Yeah, let's use that as a weapon. Yeah, I think we should use it as a weapon, actually. So he plays uh, this character, Mr. Trenchcoat. Pretty creepy, I don't remember this. Four eight nine two. <coughs> there <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry guys. Four eight nine I'm not actually sick if anyone was gonna ask. I don't know when it was. force on it. How do I apply force? Help me. If I remember correctly, this guy tries to attack me? Yeah. Yeah, eat. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, we got a hit in. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh man, you got knocked out. Plastic chicken. I'm gonna take you, plastic chicken. I'm gonna kill you. That went well. Gee. I don't remember that happening. Uh, can you hear it? I can. I don't remember, man. I don't remember what happens. Alrighty, uh, I'm assuming that wasn't supposed to happen. I haven't played this game in a, like I'm gonna reiterate it like a thousand times, but I haven't played this game in a while. Oh yeah, okay, I remember it. That's new. The oven looks different. Where's our Wolfman? Where is all the characters? A pleasant warmth is. It looks completely different. Meeting from the oven, I can hear a sense of weird, although well known to be scent. It's the smell of protective gas, which provides me some safety during the night. And fumes are distributed all over the house with long pipes. If I stay inside and want to hide out during the night, I have a chance of surviving. Sam in the oven. When I came here a few, days, a few days ago, the oven was pretty much ready to operate. I just needed to light it up and make it work. So one of our hideouts locals uh, look at the weird bottle. There's an instructional manual at the bottle. 
could read all that, but warning the gas does not provide full safety during the night. One should keep to indoor, well lit areas and minim minimize the risk. Look inside the pot. Small empty pot. I haven't used it yet. Okay, cook. What can I cook? Cook in a blue sky? Doesn't lag anymore. No random lag spikes uh, like the game used to do. Let's disarm this bear trap. You know what? Actually, I'll leave it because we're going to need that tonight. We will need that bear trap tonight. Oh, it's a mushroom book. I don't call that being a thing. Alrighty. I don't see what the bed's used for. Okay, I don't... This is all pretty new to me. I don't know where all this stuff's used for. I know what the oven's used for, and that's just about it. I know the house is procedurally generated. It always was. Now, I know I gotta fill this hole up. So I'm gonna put this in front of it. That doesn't always spawn, I don't think. It said barricade around the windows if you want to stay here for some time. She has a time. Who's saying this? I know I'm not. Crafting tables now, huh? Level one. Okay, I can upgrade it. This is, I'm like trying to take this. The mushrooms sound and look different. Night protection, you're in your hideout under the influence of the protective gas will help you survive the night. Convert wood logs to planks, 30 fuel. That's new. That's new as well. There's a lot of new stuff here. I'm gonna take these mushrooms, though. I really want to get these, uh... I'm, I already played this game before, if it wasn't obvious. So I'm going to start barricading up these windows, making the house a bit safer. Matches, cloth, and stuff. That's pretty good. We can make a bandage, I guess. We're going to go ahead and do that. Keep it on the bottom there. I guess this will be our main weapon currently. Uh, we didn't want to use it. Okay. Okay. Generator's working just lovely. Okay. I don't know, uh... I don't really know what to do, so we're just gonna walk around, because this basically is a game of searching. I know you put mushrooms in here, you can get, uh... I wanna say power-ups, but they're not really power-ups. They're kinda like upgrades, and you can, like, give them... You just apply them to your character, and you just choose specific ones. So, we're gonna work on, uh, our skill set, I guess. By picking, it's a rabbit right there. It ran away. We don't really have a real weapon. Uh, do we have the? We don't have the boards or anything to make a real one either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up logs and we're gonna run around. I guess we're just gonna collect stuff. That's what I can think of. We're just gonna collect stuff and then. Once it turns night, the first night goes by, if I survive, we'll call it an episode. That's what I'll do. I see some mushrooms down there. Poisonous mushrooms. You can't pick up those anymore, that's pretty bad. It's gonna be much harder to find specific mushrooms. It won't be harder, but... I could open it with a lockpick. I don't have any lockpicks. I do remember there was a rock or something by a tank, I think. That doesn't sound good. It's really easy to die in this game. It's not best to run around when you hear noises, because something could be trying to trail you. It's always good to look around you very often. Okay, I'm feeling my arms up. You know, maybe, maybe I'm still a bit sore from getting the shit kicked out of me. 
poisonous mushrooms. Poisonous mushrooms are everywhere. Man, if I could pick those up, I'd be like 30,000 upgrades right about now. I guess because I'm getting close to an area underground entrance. Where is this underground entrance? take a peek. Probably shouldn't enter that way. These logs are like greatly appreciated. I will discern this. This place will find the entrance to the underground here. Do you remember there's lots of bear traps in here I think? Yeah, I knew it. I almost landed in it, too. You didn't catch me that time. Sigos. The gas is pretty useful. Okay. I don't know what time of day it is. We'll take those. Large mushrooms are greatly appreciated. would go in the uh, underground entrance or whatever you want to call it. Scrap metal is greatly appreciated, I guess, because we can craft now, I believe. If our house is there, that means we're here. That means we just go down here to get back, I think. Then we probably go this way to get back. Kind of like a downwards angle. You do tire out pretty quick. I think you can get like perks or something to solve that. We got a good amount of bandages right now, and we can't really die. It's starting to turn afternoon. That's pretty good. We got matches, so we can always put gasoline down on the floor and flick a match and burn up anything that could be trying to get in. Which is always uh, a positive. It's always a positive. Always. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Okay. Looked around the house again. Okay. Might as well just stock up wood in there because if it takes 30 fuel, you might as well have a lot of wood in there. Okay, bear trap, antidote. I'm really gonna want this in my inventory. I'm really gonna want that. There's no doorway. That's gonna be a problem because I almost always stay in here when I'm hiding out. Looks like we're finding another room to hide out in. Maybe a well protected room. This room isn't well protected at all. Probably shouldn't go here. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna survive the night. I'm trying to figure it out. This room is semi well protected. I can manage here, in this corner. Just need to put this in front of there, so if anything comes in, I know it's there. And we just need to drag this across the room. I'm just going to drag this in the corner with the other thing. And then, uh... I'll probably be a lot safer if I just kind of wedge myself in the corner. Apparently staying in the light is a good thing now. Before it was a bad thing, I'm pretty sure. Like if you were in the light, you're like 95% screwed because uh, you're wasting first off fuel and uh, 
I basically got you killed. At least in my opinion. So I never usually turned on the generator, but apparently it's going to help us. So maybe I'll invest some time into putting some, uh, some stuff into the generator. I know what we can do, though. Take this little stool. Put it right there. Let's put it up against that. Okay, we're pretty much prepared for the night. Keeping all doors shut. The map's been updated, so that's good. Let's go north this time, I guess. Once he tells me it's starting to get dark, I'll head back. For now. For now, we're gonna walk around and I guess get some stuff done. Because I don't want to feel... Like, I'm not doing nothing. Maps are procedurally generated. So, uh... Different stuff's gonna be in different places. This, I've never seen before. This forest-looking area. Doesn't look... All that great, either. Like, it looks like I could probably end up... Dead pretty easily. Staying around here. Thought that was a stick that I could pick up, maybe use to kill somebody. Probably wouldn't be half bad of an idea to try. <laughs> I don't know what that thing was. I don't really want to know at all. I thought it was somebody I could save, like they were tied up. I was sadly wrong. I was very, very wrong. So at this moment, I knew. Don't want to go pop a hole in the side of my stuff. Okay, got some logs in there. What happened to the well? Is that not a thing in the game anymore? Oh, no, no, no! I knew I'd do it. I knew I'd do it. I did it. I did it. It happened. I'll tell you the story behind that. It's because it happened in almost every one of my recordings. It happened in almost every one of my recordings. And uh, when I was doing it on my old channel. It happened in almost every single one. Is there any significance of the bed? Like, what does the bed do? I should go turn on the generator, I guess. I might. I was watching someone play the game and they had their generator on, so I guess I'll go snap it on. I don't really know the significance of the bed. Drag the damn stool. I'm gonna get raped. Okay. Done. I'm gonna stand here in the corner. So maybe I'll take a, uh, match I used to love doing this I used to collect matches and just sit in the corner at night light them and throw them it was fun 
It was one of the funnest things to do in this game, was just to throw matches for some reason. To sit around and toss matches. I don't know, this is probably going to be 30 minutes long, I don't know. Using DX story to record, surprisingly, uh, because Fraps wouldn't cut it. Anymore. I don't really know what to say. It's uh, I don't hear anything. I guess that's the best thing to say. I do not hear a single thing throughout the house. It's pretty good. Uh, it could be worse. I could be hearing. Ev oh, let's see what this says in the corner. Night protection. You remember? Your hideout. Usable heals more wounds. Okay, health bar. Stamina. Crew building. Don't quit the last one. Okay, we're gonna end the episode in the morning and I'll probably just skip all this uh, night so I'll probably be ending the episode right now and then in the morning uh, unless something happens tonight when it hits the morning I'll re I'll record another episode and hopefully we can actually get something done